What if Turkey, a proud NATO member, departed for BRICS? So was Turkey's move to BRICS a daring escape from Western domination that no one anticipated? Turkey has determined that its future lies with rising economies such as Russia and China rather than the Western world. But will Turkey leave NATO to strengthen ties with its new partners? Let us find out. Turkey's intention to join BRICS represents a significant shift in its foreign policy as it seeks to expand its international partnerships. Turkey is not a nation that gives up easily. Its interest in BRICS stems from a goal for greater economic independence and less reliance on Western markets. The long-standing relationship with NATO has become increasingly one-sided, with Turkey frequently overlooked in favor of Western objectives. This discontent has led to the belief that it is time for Turkey to seek new relationships that prioritize its strategic objectives. By embracing BRICS, Turkey can get access to emerging markets that traditional Western countries have mostly disregarded. BRICS countries such as China and India provide fertile ground for commerce, allowing Turkey to diversify its export base outside the European Union and the United States. Let us be clear, this isn't just a nice wave to a new neighbor. Turkey is attempting to develop economic ties that could rival its current partnerships with the West. With the BRICS, Turkey obtains access to a group that is already altering global trade patterns. Consider Turkish businesses selling textiles and machinery to a growing market of more than 3 billion people. The opportunities are astonishing. Furthermore, Turkey's bold approach is a direct threat to Western dominance, especially as ties with NATO countries have deteriorated in recent years. From divergent political ideas to economic penalties, Turkey has had enough of being the faithful sidekick. Joining BRICS allows Turkey to assert itself on the world scene and convey a clear message. It will no longer be considered a pawn in Western games. The historical context is really important here. Turkey's geographical location has traditionally positioned it at the crossroads of civilizations. It's not surprising that this viewpoint has influenced its foreign policy. The Ottoman Empire, once a strong force, managed complicated connections in Europe, Asia, and Africa. Today, Turkey appears to be ready to rekindle that historical relevance by forming new relationships that reflect its strategic importance. But will Turkey abandon NATO for these benefits? Here's a reminder to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on global geopolitics, economy, and changing terrain. Let us proceed now. Turkey's likely decision to abandon NATO in favor of joining BRICS is more than just a possibility. It represents a geopolitical alignment with growing economies that can provide Turkey with significantly larger benefits while remaining committed to an obsolete military alliance. Firstly, Turkey's rising dissatisfaction with NATO stems from a sense of neglect and a lack of true support for its security concerns. For years, Turkey has faced enormous threats from multiple fronts, including regional instability and the growth of Kurdish armed groups. However, its appeals for further military support from NATO have frequently gone unheeded. The idea that NATO is more preoccupied with the interests of its Western members than with Turkey's specific security issues has left Ankara feeling marginalized. In contrast, joining BRICS allows Turkey to form alliances with emerging economies that prioritize mutual interests while respecting sovereignty. BRICS nations, including China, India, and Russia, recognize Turkey's geographical location and strategic relevance in regional geopolitics. This alignment can provide Turkey with a platform to improve its defense capabilities and gain access to new military technologies while avoiding the limits and scrutiny of NATO's Western allies. Furthermore, joining BRICS can help Turkey enhance its sovereignty and demonstrate its independence on a global scale. It would no longer have to traverse the complexity of NATO's decision-making processes, which frequently necessitate agreement among various member nations with competing objectives. Instead, Turkey would be free to pursue its foreign policy objectives interacting with BRICS countries on terms that best suit its interests. But why would Turkey do such a thing for the BRICS? The straightforward response would be economic gains. 
Turkey's historical reliance on Western markets makes it vulnerable to foreign shocks. Recent economic sanctions and political tensions with Western nations have highlighted Turkey's need to seek new ties. By collaborating with BRICS, Turkey can establish new commercial partnerships that are less vulnerable to Western sanctions or economic downturns. The prospect of diversifying away from conventional markets is not just tempting. It is critical to Turkey's economic stability. Another significant advantage of BRICS participation is the possibility of increasing foreign direct investment, FDI. BRICS countries are aggressively looking for investment opportunities in Turkey, enticed by its strategic location and manufacturing skills. Turkey's position as a bridge between Europe and Asia makes it an appealing destination for investors wishing to expand into both regions. This rush of investment might give Turkey with the capital it needs to modernize its industries, build infrastructure, and generate jobs. Think about the ramifications of this possible investment. Turkish construction firms could find new projects in BRICS countries, leveraging their skills to create infrastructure in quickly expanding regions. The collaboration between Turkish enterprises and BRICS partners could result in mutually advantageous arrangements that promote economic prosperity for all parties. Let us not forget the availability of development financing through entities such as the BRICS New Development Bank. This financing might be transformative for Turkey's infrastructure requirements, filling significant gaps in transportation and energy. Instead of relying on Western financial institutions, which frequently impose onerous conditions, Turkey can obtain finance from BRICS without the risk of unwelcome meddling. Furthermore, this transition to BRICS may pave the road for technological collaboration. Turkey can improve its innovation capabilities by partnering with countries that specialize in a variety of technological fields. For example, cooperation in renewable energy technology could aid Turkey's move to a greener economy, addressing both energy security and environmental issues. And how will NATO respond if Turkey leaves? If Turkey decides to leave NATO for BRICS, NATO and its member states will most certainly respond with a complex mix of concern, diplomatic attempts, and strategic recalibration. NATO would most likely launch a series of diplomatic efforts to prevent Turkey from making such a big adjustment. This might include high-level conversations and negotiations aimed at resolving Turkey's concerns within the alliance. NATO member countries may strive to reassure Turkey of the organization's importance and value, emphasizing the benefits of collective security and shared interests. To keep Turkey, NATO may give more incentives, such as increased military cooperation, more significant economic help, or greater support for Turkey's security concerns, particularly those concerning regional threats. The alliance may also aim to include Turkey in more decision-making processes so that its opinion is heard and appreciated. Losing Turkey would pose a serious strategic challenge to NATO. Turkey's location at the crossroads of Europe and Asia makes it a valuable geographical and military asset. It is critical in controlling access to the Black Sea, and NATO has always maintained a substantial presence in the region. NATO is likely to analyze the impact of Turkey's withdrawal on its operational capabilities and overall security posture. Turkey's exit could cause divisions within NATO, particularly among member states with close links to Turkey. Countries such as the United States and several European states may have different perspectives on how to manage the crisis, potentially leading to conflicts about the alliance's future orientation. NATO may also consider imposing sanctions that underscore the gravity of Turkey's withdrawal. This might vary from less military cooperation to a shift in how NATO addresses Turkey's geopolitical goals. Any punitive measures, however, would be carefully balanced against the risk of driving Turkey further away and cementing its ties with BRICS. Now, the question is whether NATO can afford to lose Turkey. The short answer is no. NATO cannot afford to lose Turkey. Turkey's geographic location, military capabilities, and historical relevance in the alliance make it an important member.
the loss of Turkey would diminish NATO's strategic position while also emboldening regional rivals. So, in the end, Turkey's potential BRICS membership is more than a strategic maneuver. It's a strong declaration of independence from Western supremacy. By joining BRICS, Turkey can gain access to new markets, strengthen its geopolitical power, and redefine its place on the global arena. As Turkey prepares to negotiate this new landscape, it is set to resume its due place among the world's developing powers. The era of Western superiority has over, and Turkey is leading the way to a bright, multipolar future. Can Turkey truly redefine its global position by breaking free from NATO's grip? Is this brave move a reflection of Turkey's strength and independence? Let us know in the comments section. What if the shift to BRICS offers up chances that the West has long denied? Would you like to see more videos like this one? If so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We chose to deliver videos on topics that no one discusses, such as global politics, the economics, and expanding power. Thank you for viewing, and until the next video, stay tuned. Don't miss any of our African videos. They're the finest way to help us.